there, lovely ladies. Welcome back to In Between Friends. I am Erin, and this is Rebecca. We're coming to you today to talk about in between phases of life, specifically pregnancy and babydom. Um, we are talking today about making new friends. You're going into a new phase of your life, and like every new phase, um, you kind of shed new you shed skin, and you you make new yeah, yeah, you definitely do, and that brings forth new people in your life. I know just with pregnancy, we've talked about it before that it, it has changed my circle of friends, just with pregnancy. So I anticipate with these dude, two dudes coming, um, that's just gonna continue to kind so of, excited. yeah, gonna continue to kind of just change my circle of friends. So how do I meet these people? They're not gonna come to my house, they're not gonna knock on my door. I, people it, do knock on my door, but those aren't the ones I want to be with. If only, okay, we talked about in an earlier vlog, if the store only dropped off like a maid, oh. a house cleaner, like every other month. Oh. Fantastic, even every other month, I'm digging that. Yeah. If only that stork would also drop off friends. <laughs> We're like, I love you, I get you, I want to walk this journey with you, can we have play dates? And a play date for an infant is not really a play date for the infant, it's for you. <laughs> um, but you want to bond with other people who are walking at the same totally. center. And obviously we know with our viewers that you're looking for that too. It's difficult to step out of your comfort zone. Totally, and very difficult for me to step out of my comfort zone. I'm yeah. 34 years old, folks. I am not you know, hanging out at the local restaurant or bar or what have you, just like making new friends. Like, I'm set in my ways. I've got my little inner circle. I'm yeah. good. But they're necessary, especially as you enter into this new phase. Totally. So there's a couple of options for you that we would suggest. However, it depends on the community that you live in. So we're going to throw out a bunch of different organizations that you can do some research, see if there's mm -hmm. any chapters or clubs in your area. Mm -hmm. and. The best thing I would tell you to do is just go and try it. Put yourself out there. Put yourself. It's like dating. Oh gosh. I know. Bad memories. I don't want to go back to dating. I know. So number one, check out any kind of mom's club. Mm -hmm. It's actually called the Mom's Club. You can look it up online. Is this like a Mother's Guild? I don't know. I've never heard of Mother's Guild. Yes, yeah. See, where I live, it's called a Mother's Guild. That sounds very, very fancy. Fancy. Very. Then they want to have tea and put on a hat. Totes. Oh, sweet. <laughs> and they turn into the Red Ladies Hats Club mm -hmm. later on. Um, you're talking about MOPS, which is called Mothers of Preschoolers. Now, the misnomer with that is that it's only for mothers of preschoolers, which in fact is not. Mm -hmm. It is for moms pregnant all the way through first grade, the child mm -hmm. going to first grade. So it's a great way to meet ladies. Um, any kind of gym activity, gym yeah. membership, YMCA, stroller strides. There's even, if you can look in your local parks and rec, uh, brochure. Store Chase is a great thing. They do activities and workouts actually with your stroller mm -hmm. and your baby. So you're all the same stage, which is fantastic. Um, library time, story time. I know it sounds lame that you're going to the library with, a, with an infant, but it's not because <laughs> a lot of them start circle times for like six months old. And then you just start talking to the moms because you see them every week. Um, Lily Cheek Week. Um, I know that's a mouthful, but um, for those that are struggling with breastfeeding or want more information about breastfeeding or just want support about yep. breastfeeding, it's a great way. Some of my girlfriends have met their best friends. Oh, I know a lot that. of women who've met very good friends who will actually leave. Yes, yes. And then the bottom line is if you belong to a church, yep. it's a great way to meet women, especially when you're dropping your kid off in the nursery mm -hmm. at the same time as somebody else. And Ooh, you have you doing. Yeah, literally you're like, oh. Do you yeah. want to be mine? Do you have a coffee? <laughs> be my friend. <laughs> be my friend. Please, please. <laughs> and any of those relationships too that you're starting, like if you're taking birthing classes or newborn care mm -hmm. classes, any of those friendships, just continue them on. Exchange yeah. emails, Facebook friends, mm -hmm. um, have them over for dinner, go out to dinner. I mean, you're looking for people that are going to surround you and become that like inner circle mm -hmm. of friends that could in fact become almost extended family. Totally. Yep. Uh, do be aware that you should research most of these things because yes. some of them do uh, require a cost or a donation. Um, you kind of want to be aware of that when you go yeah. in, so when they ask for your, your fee, you're, you're aware of it. <laughs> um, I believe most of them actually do offer a fee, or require a fee rather. So check into it, do your research, see what's around you. There are so many different options though. I'm noticing that just in the new area that I've moved to, which um, I was going to say makes me excited. It doesn't really make me excited because it requires a lot on my part. It's going to be super social. But um, I know it's necessary. It's necessary for me. It's necessary for the dudes. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Yeah. Uh, we loved talking with you. We look forward to your feedback. We would love to hear from you either here on our vlog. 
Check out www.inbetweenfriends.com and we will talk to you later. Take care. Bye.